Wait, what? Oh. Huh? Oh, okay. Why won't you work? <laughs> I hate you! I wish you were deactivated! Oh. Here we go. Today we're going to take a quick look at some of the fixes for that GeForce Experience audio stutter that has afflicted many systems. Now this was a situation that arose uh, several weeks ago after the update to version 3.20.4.14. And this introduced a lot of audio stutter that made recording on the GeForce Experience desktop and in-game recording features unusable for many users. And this was occurring across many different platforms and across many different sound solutions, including Realtek, Onboard, add-in cards like Asus, Strix, EVGA New Audio, and many others. So we're going to take a look at several of the fixes that have been suggested, which we have implemented on the test system to test for functionality and improvement in recording audio. The first method that was introduced over at the NVIDIA GeForce forums, and NVIDIA's suggestion at the time was to change the sound card properties configuration to a surround sound setup. So if you were listening in stereo, which seems to be what is affected by the corrupted audio, then change your sound card configuration to 7.1 surround sound. And that did seem to get the audio improved on the GeForce recorder. But the problem with that is, for many people, utilizing stereo headsets, when they configured their sound card to surround sound, that meant they were going to lose a lot of audio that was being sent to those surround sound speakers. So if you were in a directional audio situation, like in-game, and someone was creeping up behind you to the far left or the far right, that sound would be sent to a rear left or right surround speaker. So in your stereo headset, that sound would be absent. So you would miss all of that sound. Same thing listening to music or movies, particularly if they're in a surround sound mix, or even just stereo music, because a lot of sound solutions will split the stereo signal and send some of it to the surround speakers, depending on how the sound hardware and how the software is configured. So that meant a lot of lost sound quality for the listener. So that really wasn't a viable option. So the next option, our preferred method, was to disable the sound enhancements. And this can be different for different systems on how to accomplish this. The first way to accomplish it is to open the sound control panel, go to the default speakers, click properties or double click the default speakers and then look for an enhancements tab and here it is and then we can come down and we'll notice a disable all enhancements option and we'll ensure that that is checked and then we'll click apply and OK and then we will click apply and OK again and that should disable sound enhancements within the sound control panel That may be the end of it for some systems, and that may solve the audio stutter. But other systems are utilizing sound card solutions that have accompanying software may also need to disable or uninstall that software that enhances the audio for the sound card. So for example, on this system, there is an EVGA New Audio Pro 7.1 sound card installed. And that sound card comes with a driver package that's bundled with a software called Nehemic. Now, Nehemic handles the equalizer functionality and some of the other sound enhancements like the software compressor, the reverb settings, the software surround settings, which on this sound card, it's an EVGA New Audio Pro 7.1. So it has the analog and digital surround sound capabilities for the hardware, for the speakers. So we don't really need the software surround sound. That's just a, a little quirky, fun enhancement, but it's not something that's necessary if your sound card already has physical surround sound capabilities. On the mic side, it handles things like volume stabilizer and noise reduction. And that software, if you don't use it, is not essential 
to the sound card operation. So you can remove it or just eliminate it from the installation when you install the driver package. The downside is you won't have that universal control to EQ the sound on the system. What I do wrong My heart keeps pounding And it won't stop And it is nice to have that if you do use the EQ a lot because then you won't have to go into every software program like music players, video players, browsers, every game and EQ all of those independently. By having something like Nehemic that comes with the new Audio Pro, it's a universal EQ, so you could EQ it in Nehemic and it'll be EQ'd across all those programs. So that's nice if you use the EQ a lot. Now keep in mind it's a software EQ, how well it works or if it distorts the music, the raw natural state of the sound, that's a whole other conversation topic. But if you do use those enhancements, then you're not going to want to go this route. But if you're not using those enhancements, this is a quick way to solve the audio stutter in the GeForce recordings. To disable the sound enhancements in the enhancements tab on the speaker properties in the sound control panel within Windows, and then also remove any accompanying enhancement software that came bundled with the driver package for the installed sound card. And a final solution came a few days ago over at the NVIDIA GeForce forums and they pushed out a quick hotfix. It's an unofficial version of GeForce Experience, and it's version 3.20.4.15. And we did download, install, and test that version of the GeForce Experience, and it did remove the audio stutter from the GeForce recordings. Unfortunately, it seems like it's not a fully polished version of GeForce Experience. But it's missing some of the user interface controls like the share settings. It doesn't break the share settings altogether because you can still click Alt Z on the keyboard and pull up that overlay for the share settings. But it gets us wondering if this was pushed out quickly and it's missing something basic like the share settings in the user interface, what else is it missing under the hood? That's another option if you want to keep the sound enhancements and the sound enhancement software like Nehemic or you have something like Sonic Studio through Asus Motherboard or something like that, then this is an option to download this hotfix, use that temporarily until NVIDIA can figure out the issue, get it in their next over-the-air official GeForce Experience update. So if you'd like to follow this issue a little closer, we will link to the NVIDIA GeForce Experience forums pertaining to this issue and you can follow along on the NVIDIA forum and hopefully that gets NVIDIA GeForce Experience recordings back up and running on your system as well. Put the GeForce back in the recorder without the audio stutter. What the hell do you think? Wow, you really are ready for the next level.